Okay, so let's go through the button systematically here. Okay. Autopilot is that, and it won't let me turn it off. This messes with the radio, which seems to cause it to do... react to different things. Uh, that controls the windshield wipers. That controls the... Um, that controls the horn. And... Oh, that's the horn. That's the wipers. Keep your pants on, Wallace. I know that's difficult, but keep your pants on. That shuts it. I'm, I bet you it's going to be something really obvious. Well, I didn't want to... I didn't want to have to do this. But we're looking it up. Right, Wallace... And Romit. Adventures. Episode one. If I'm missing it, feel free. Feel free to uh, point it out. Dear. This is not looking good. Oh, I'm an absolute idiot. I completely forgot that was in there. Crank. That's right, lad. Now raise the ladder. Is she gonna let you go though? That's torn it. The ladder's broken, and I left the spare at home. <laughs> what are we doing with a chicken? Come on, Wallace. It's no use, Gromit. She won't let go. Well, she needs... Oh, we can poke. Yoch! That just makes her squeeze me harder. I've got an idea. What if we go down to the radio? What if we should go back in? And maybe that's what the music's for. That definitely looks lewd. Well, where did the porridge gun go? To get to the gun from here. Perhaps our new uh, passenger might be of assistance. Oh yeah, Mr. Chicken. Any items I can use with you, Mr. Chicken? Um, do you want Gorgonzola? No, he doesn't want that. Oh. 
Oh, that's maybe what the wipers are for. Maybe that's what the wipers are for. Oh, poor chicken. Yeah, I have to climb out of the car first, you dingbat. May oh. If she'd her grip for a second or two, I'm sure I could wriggle free. No use trying to pry me loose. We've got to get her to drop me. What do you think I'm trying to do, Wallace? Sold in one piece. More than I can say for the autopilot, I'm afraid. Look, the autopilot. Oh dear. Looks like our troubles aren't quite over. Look out behind you, Grummit. Keep her at bay. I'll try and lose her in here. Oh, I see. Take that, B. And that. Take that. And that. And that. Swap over. Oh, yeah, you need to swap over with that. No, that did nothing. Do we need to give him the growth formula up there, I wonder? Say a daft thing like that, I'll never know. From whence comes the dogs? Perhaps not. Perhaps not. If I leave, who'll drive the truck? It is his privilege. No good, I'm afraid. Okay, so I can't give it to Gromit. No, I just looked in there. So maybe it works then if I get her to laugh. Oh, missed. That didn't seem to do anything. Don't 
fight fire with fire, but wait a minute. I've got an idea. Let's try that. Don't shoot till you see the whites of our eyes. Do you see the whites of her eyes? What do you think I've been doing, Gromit? Uh, Wallace, I've got that wrong again. Is there somewhere I'm not... Somewhere I'm not missing? Turn the radio off. Ah, that's what you meant to do. Oh, that pissed her off. Oh dear. You bagged her, Gromit. Cracking teamwork, lad. Cracking teamwork, lad. That's a bit creepy. I found the antidote to that pesky growth formula. Now we can finally cut our bee problem down to size. Though there is one small uh, um, complication. Oh, Wallace, what are we going to do with you? So that was episode one, Fright of the Bumblebees. Now, it was quite fun, actually. I loved all the, oh, the whole charm. I uh, loved watching Wallace and Gromit as a kid. So um, seeing the little references to little shorts were um, to the shorts were a good um, thing. Um, as I say, I don't think they got Peter Wallace to do the voice for this, but um, whoever they got did a, has done a good job of impersonating um, Wallace. Um, switching between the two characters was nice. Um, the fact you mainly played as Gromit rather than Wallace did um, keep it close to the shorts as well. Um, as I say, it's um, it was easy enough to figure out. There were some bits where um, I was a bit stuck, but it was um, more to do with me being derpy rather than the design of the puzzles themselves. So yeah, episode one, good start so far. Um, I could see, I could totally see this as being a. Um, as being as an actual Wallace and Gromit cartoon. So I think we're going to start episode two. We're not going to finish it. We're going to start episode two. 
um, because we're not going to be streaming too long tonight. And then we're going to leave it there. You'll have to bear with me, though, because I'm going to be adjusting the um, settings of episode two to match episode one. Oh, excuse me. These credits are long. These credits are um, quite long, actually. Oh. I don't know what's going wrong there. Oh, um, Streamlabs kind of cut it off about half an hour in. So this is going to be uploaded as two separate parts, I believe, then. I'll have to see about that in the editing bay. Yeah, Ben Whitehead is what has been, was uh, Wallace. Seeing that is just funny. I'll just let you enjoy the song while this uh, keeps going. Well, yeah, I do want to um, do a bit, do some more old, st old um, Telltale games because uh, before they basically became interactive films with QTEs, um, we played one of them, of course, with Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, yeah, it's like uh, they were good adventure. They were good adventure games. I mean, um, they didn't. They weren't too. Dif I'd say they weren't difficult to figure out, but um, they did let you have hands-on control rather than. Um, Guardians, as nice as it was, only had minimal um, adventure style gameplay. A lot of it was more dialogue choices and QTEs. So. A friendly hello in a clean workspace. Ah, oh, quite nice little messages here. Telltale interns. B dance instructor. Okay. Craft services at 62 West Wallaby. 3.5 discard. Oh, funny little ones there. 11 years old this is. Oh my god, I didn't even realise it was that old. I think that's it. Right, okay. Well, just bear with me then. And we're just going to jump straight into episode 2. The last resort. Does it need to do anything before we get going? Yeah, I'll just let that configure itself just a minute. Just bear with me. While we're there, I'll see if the Discord command works again. No, no it does not, it seems. Uh, don't know what's going on with the bot today. Oops. Uh. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, so it's, it's um, doing the first time installs because I, um, I haven't played episode 2 before. So uh, episode 1 I did play some bits of, but episode 2 is going to be completely new. So um, I'm quite excited to see how this how this turns out uh, once it's done installing. Actually, I'll put on a bit of BRB and I will um, come back when it's done. He kind of noticed I was there as soon as I opened the door, so um, we're going to have to think about this a bit more smartly, I think. Get into... Um,
There is a camera on the guy up above, so you can check out his movements. Actually, um, can I run away for the moment? <laughs> All right, Rocket. Is everything okay? She's gone now, but maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. I just I have to try. We've got to go to Half World, Pete. I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. We've got to find out why this thing's affected me. But this favor, I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. So do we go? Yeah, I think we'll go to Half World. If this person means that much to you, we'll go. Look, a promise is a promise. Pete and I are going to Half World. Rocket. Intercepting Nebula is more important. You don't get to say what's more Ugh. important. Uh, screw it. Go after Nebula. Translating the relic is our priority right now. We're going after Nebula. Whenever you're ready, we'll head out. You know what? I don't care. Have fun on your wild cyborg chase. Come on, Rocket. Oh, only shooting stars break the mold. This is changing. <laughs> I need to get myself away from this place. I said, yep, what a concept. Oh, hello. Hi, Mr. Bear. Don't kill me, don't eat me, please! No, 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 no! No! I'm trying to be a pacifist for you, Mr. Bear. Don't make it difficult. Think you can oh. run away? The only place you're going is to the hospital. Oh, really? Is that you said about the hospital? Damn, not again. I'm in four by three. Um, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help, somebody. I'm stuck. Uh, I drove into the wall and now I'm stuck. Just gonna sign off for the day, really. To make that jump successfully, I need to walk back as far as possible from the edge, then take a running jump as before. You are. Or you could walk to the edge, jump forward, and press action. You guys saw that, right? I'll have. Oh, you nearly had it there. Oh no. And we're back. Uh, the game's ready to go, and um, I ju and the bot was disconnected, so that's why it wasn't working. Let's uh, get back in there. Creepy. Oh my god. Alright, let's turn the volume down quite a bit. And then... 
I'd say that should do it. Yeah, it'll do. Turn it down to five. Subtitles on. And we should be good. Be back on. We're going to do about half an hour of this and then we'll call it quits. Uh, let's just start. The last resort. Sorry, every time I have a dramatic title like that, I have to say it like that. Help, Gromit, do something. Call the Coast Guard. <laughs> Aw, Gromit with his little, to little, um, I was going to say tortoise. It's raining cats and dogs. Our plumbing's in a right pickle. Fetch me my spanner, lad, while I stick me finger in the dike. You what? Did he just say what I think he said? I shouldn't bother with that, Gromit. It's still only a prototype. Okay, so where's his spanner? Can I go that way? <coughs> Don't do not do that, lad. We'll lose the lights. Yeah, probably not a smart idea, now I think about it. What's your spanner doing all the way over here, Wallace? Just the job. Bring it here now, will you, lad? Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, we've got a bucket and... Oh, he's got a spade. Aw. Oh. Well done. Our troubles are over. Whoops. Uh, that's not good. Crikey, that was a shock. Let's trip the circuit breaker, lad. And stay clear of the water. It's electric. Uh, yeah, gather that, Wallace. Oh. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Look out, lad. The tide's coming in. Let's find another way to the circuit breaker. Another way. Me ducky? Oh no, not a ducky. It's more like a to turtle or toy toy, I suppose. You'll get yourself electrocuted. Well, I don't really have much of a choice, Wallace. The cold's too strong. You'll have to find some other way to reach the circuit breaker. Oh, that's a point. Now we're in a pickle and no mistake. Climb out of there. Careful, old chum. What can I? Hmm. The current's too strong, Grommy. Uh. There's no way out, lad. Anything I can grab up there? The deductomatic can't help us now, lad. It's only a prototype. Well, have you got any ideas, Wallace, instead of just standing there? Find a way to the circuit breaker, Gromit. It's our only chance. Let's act fast, Gromit. Anything I can use over here? Ah, spare tracks. Our toy train 
can smell that was a runaway ride. Okay. So like to reminisce, but I think you're on the wrong track, lad. No, that's not what we do. It's um if you remember from the wrong trousers, Wallace and Gromit are uh, chasing a penguin on train tracks. And there's a really good scene where Gromit um, quickly puts together um, spare tracks. Um, spare tracks to. Um, Careful, lad. That's extremely volatile compressed rocket gas. Ex NASA. Oh. Why didn't you say so before, lad? Oh, this is a stupid idea. No, can't use it with that anyway. We got anything here we can grab? No? Hmm. This isn't just a sticky wicket, it's waterlogged and all. No, that isn't going to do anything. Careful, old chum. Uh, Find a way to the circuit breaker, Gromit. It's our only chance. Is there anything in my inventory that I'm not currently using? There's gotta be something here I've not used yet. If you can't reach that circuit breaker, we'll be fine. Don't do it, lad. You'll blow yourself to smithereens. Lincoln, Laura. Done, Gromit. Poor be fixed in a jiffy. Just a moment. Turn to the right. And now it's safe to hit the lights. That's better. Oh, there you are. Well, we'd best clean up. Crack on, lad. There's a lot to do. Ah. Sorry about the unseasonal weather. I'm afraid it means we'll have to put off our little trip to the seaside. Unless you bring the seaside to us. Hmm. You've got an idea there, Wallace. I'd love to have a little uh, personal beach. Chapter 1 Ocean Notion. We've already got a cellar full of water. Just a few more items. There we are. And we can enjoy the seaside from the comfort of our own home. Ho, ho, ho. Won't that be something, lad? We'll stay home for the holidays and have our own beach to boot. Lucky the rain's let up for now. I'll be back in a trice with all the necessaries. Sun, sand and beach umbrella coming up. Yeah, typical British weather um, that doesn't really... The sun... There's a little joke here that the sun in our British summer doesn't really last very long. So take it, Miss Flitz moved out. Oh. Oh. Duncan, what are you doing here? Picking you up, lassie. Of a date. Surely you're not still thinking of the beach. It's freezing cold and might rain any moment. Ach, a little wet never dampened the spirits of my biscuit. Grab your wellies and we'll be off. Duncan, I really don't think so. You must admit, it's hardly beach weather. Oh my. Ridiculous. Oh, hello there, Wallace. Come and meet Duncan McBiscuit. He's an old 
friend. Sure he is. And of course you know my two precious darlings, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Say hello to Mr. Wallace Angels. Ah, uh, yes. <coughs> Gromit, it's your friends from next door. Cute little fellows. Oh, yes. They're show dogs, you know. Prize winners. They're my pride and joy. Yeah, and we're Gromit well, on that I one. Keep you. No, 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 no. Duncan was just leaving. Leaving with you, lassie, for a day on the beach. But what if there's a cloud burst? I don't consider thunder and lightning very pleasant beach companions. But there's no thunder and no lightning. Can you hear any thundering? Any cracking or booming? Well, can you? Maybe I can. Just hush your tongue a moment, will you? Are we... Oh. You can't hear no thunder, can you? Not even a wee tinkle. I suppose not. Have faith, lad. West Wallaby Street's first indoor beach will be ready in a trice. Sun, sand, and beach umbrella coming right up. I say, that's a handsome beach, Ronnie. Perhaps you'd like to borrow it. You're most welcome. We won't be needing it as we're not going anywhere. Oh, yes, we are, lassie. Oh, no, we aren't, Duncan. You can borrow the brolly once Duncan and I have finished our little discussion. Um, hmm. I'm guessing we need to get him to piss off somehow. I'm sure they're going to be nattering by the time we finish going to the shops. Before the flood, gather the townsfolk. We'll stack the sandbags to the north, south, and east. Still time if we hurry. Look lively now, soldier. No, 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 you can't dump these sandbags here. Just, just, just wait a moment, Major, please. Stop dithering, you dunderhead. The town's being swept under. There's now being swept under, Major. And you're beginning to be a public nuisance. Oh, dear. Um, Mr. Paneer, why have you got a spotlight? Afternoon, Wallace. That's quite a light, Mr. Paneer. It's a searchlight. I say, no shortage of candle power there. Bright as the sun, don't you think? Wonderful for bringing in the big spenders. When the weather's fair, that is. I wonder, Mr. Paneer, where might a person acquire such a light? I'd be happy to lend you this one, but if the weather warms up tonight, I'll need it to advertise my super sore away sizzling summer sale. Oh. Okay, so I think I'm getting we're getting our little um, objectives here now. So we need to get the the brolly from um, Miss Flit um, and try and get her. I suppose I was going to say her date, but it doesn't look like she really wants to go with him. Um, to get him to piss off. Um, we got to get this spotlight from Mr. Pinea. Sun, sea, and then we I'm need sand. What's the latest cheese of the week, I wonder? Stilton. And that reminds me. I just sent the truck out with your delivery. When you return home, you'll find it waiting patiently on your doorstep. Ah, just like Gromit. You know, Mr. Wallace, there's nothing like coming home to a faithful lawyer's cheese. <laughs> I quite agree. Well, we know what you think of um, Gromit then, don't you, Wallace? Anything different with it says here? No water shortage this summer, that's for certain. Do, 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 do. Okay, what's the shopkeeper got to say? Hello, love. Afternoon, Mrs. Gabberly. Hello, Wallace. Lovely weather, isn't it? Well, uh, I, uh, 
I'm joking, Pat. I know it's rotten. Had to cancel me holiday. That's a shame. Certainly is being stuck with old misery guts here. I heard that! He don't miss a word I say, except when I ask him to do summit. Ah! Sitting behind a till all day ain't exactly hard labor. What would you know about hard labor? I could run this place a sight better than you, if I had a mind to. If you had a mind? What will it be, love? So, I take it when you got up to business in the last episode, it wasn't, um... It didn't really change anything then. Sandman strikes again. I think we might have our sand. Have to read? Take your pick. I'll put it on your slate. Uh, hmm. Well, we're looking for the beach. Not quite there. More rotten weather on the way tonight, they say. Set. Hey, make sure he don't nick any sweets. Mind your own business. That old misery guts thinks he could run this shop. <laughs> he couldn't run a bar. Although now you mention it, Mr. Misery Guts, um, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Now, uh, as a PSA, don't do that. Don't nick sweets from news agents. Our constable likes to keep a tight lid on irregular activity. Hmm. Ah, okay, so the sand part is the sandbags. Who'd have guessed? Uh, um. Yes, soda? Out with it. Uh, well, uh, if you'd like to unload these sandbags, I know just the spot. Just as I told you, the people are pleading for sand, and we've got to give it to them. It's coarse and gets everywhere, though. You lazy old goat. But if you've got a need for sandbags, Wallace, I hereby grant you permission. Oh? You grant permission? Indeed. Take all you want, Wallace. Infernal cheat. I'm the commanding officer here, you jumped up John Worth, and I hereby revoke permission. I apologize to any um, war veterans who may be watching this and looking at this character. Alright, Major, how about this? Why don't we ask Wallace here who's in command? This young Pongo? Hmm. Very well. Why not? Tell us, soldier, who holds rank here? Remember your training. Yeah, I'm siding with the busy here. Well, the constable is, uh, an officer of the law. Aha! Like I told you, I call the shots in this district. The sandbags are yours, Wallace. They are not! But you're the one who wanted to dump them, Major. That was before you walked in and tried to usurp my authority. Oh, God. Wallace. Kindly tell the Major here who the officer in charge is, will you? That's right, soldier. Inform this non-combatant nincompoop where his duty lies. Ah, uh, was that the wrong answer? Well, the constable is uh, an officer of the law. Aha! Like I told you, it's time you showed some respect for the law. Peach pie and poppycock. Your civilian laws may matter at your grandmother's quilting bee, but they mean nothing here among real men in a military emergency. Soldier, will you please inform this sanctimonious civilian... It's not going to let me leave until I pick the major, isn't it? Major is a... Uh, a major? Ah! Ah! Just so. Now, stand down, or I'll have you clapped in irons. You may have the sandbags, Wallace. I grant you permission. 
I deny you permission to grant permission. Yes, I give the orders round here. Now, who's being uncooperative? I'm the authority here, and what I say goes. Uh, ain't that right, Wallace? Back me up here. Um. Okay, so we've got it. Hold on. Two fine flavors that work well together. We're talking about who's in charge, not flavors. Just a moment. Are you saying that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team, like uh, steak and kidney? Uh, you can't see it, but I'm giving a thumbs up right now. That in a crisis like this, we must act as one, like a well-trained commando unit. Actually, it's a sign. Exactly, a sign that we can rise above our squabbles. Very well, then. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll send these sandbags off with you. Thank goodness. Well, I'll be off then. I can hear an hot meat pie calling me name. Yes, I can. Ernest Dibbins, it's saying. It's tea time. Fetch the blinking ketchup, Ernest. Now then, soldier. All I need is your requisition form. Your what? Requisition form? That's right. Got to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations, can we? Spies? Surely you've heard about the spies from abroad. They're everywhere. Don't look so rattled, man. Just bring me your requisition form, and you'll soon be neck deep in splendid sandbags. Oh, right then. So, where do I get a requisition form from? Hmm. We're going to have a little look around some more. Requisition form. Anything here that can pass off for that? I don't believe so. Oh, yeah. It's a stack of Stilton. Oh. Is that the earth shaking roar of thunder? Uh, well, actually, uh, it doesn't matter when it comes to the complex question of climate. A person should never really rely on his own senses. Only the experts really understand the weather. Oh? There's a certain joke I can make there, but I'll hold back on it. Um, okay. Okay, so we've... Oh! I think I know where we get this requisition form from. Oh, oh a special order for 62 West Wallaby Street. Stilton. One of my favourites. Okay, what do we do with the Stilton? Oh, yeah, it's mouth-watering. Oh, did you hear an unearthly rumbling? Rumbling? What rumbling? Oh, I can't hear properly over your endless prattle. Did you hear an unearthly rumbling? Rump. Oh, I can't. I think I may know what to do, so I'll borrow the brolly. <clears throat> might I borrow your beach brolly? Of course you might. As soon as I convince Duncan that it simply isn't beach weather. You must admit, it's hardly beach weather. So I need to get them to stop talking. <clears throat> ah, mind your own beeswax, you big boffin bunch. Duncan, don't be so rude. I'll be sweet as honey when I'm buzzing round the beach with my best lassie. I won't be buzzing anywhere in this bitter weather. <clears throat> you wouldn't go to the seaside today, would you, Wallace? You'd stay inside with a cosy cup of tea, inventing some clever thing, wouldn't you? It's certainly cosier indoors. Just so. Now. Duncan, it's time you were on your way. On my way? Felicity! I refuse to go out in a thunderstorm. 
Oh, there's no thunderstorm. You can't hear no thundering, can you? Maybe I can hear thundering. Just button your backpacks for a moment, will you? Okay, now activate the Stilton. Oh my gracious! That's thunder, all right, and it's nearly upon us. Oh, but sure it may be thundering, but but do you see lightning? There's no lightning to bother about, is there? Oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to stay out here with you waiting to be struck by lightning. I'm going to seek shelter, and if you've any sense at all, Duncan McBiscuit, you'll do the same. Good day. What? <laughs> oh. What are you looking at, Jimmy? Jimmy? That's no way to talk to a player. <laughs> oh, never doubt the Scotsman. Let's go borrow the brolly. Just borrow this. Just the thing for our cellar-based indoor beach experience. Okay, so we've got one of the things, and I think we're just gonna call it a day here. If um, if I remember where to bookmark the game. And we're just going to leave it here for today and then pick it up. Um, next time we play Wallace and Gromit won't be till Monday. No, not till Monday, till February. Because that's when we pick up Shenmue, th when we pick up Shenmue 3 next week. And then the week after, um, not entirely sure, but I think we're... Actually, yeah, first week of February we're going to be going Wallace and Gromit again. And then the week after we'll be playing Resident Evil HD. Um, why? Because Shenmue 1, not Shenmue 1, Shenmue 3, um, after the Monday the 27th of uh, January, once we've done with that stream, it will be moving to the weekends. So it'll be the Saturdays and the Sundays. So I'll post that schedule um, on the last week of January. So thank you very much for everyone who came in to support this stream. Um, if you liked it, you can follow me on Twitter at Nebbyte for more um, information about future streams. My YouTube channel is um, here, where all of odds lurk. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of editing on this one, and then I will be... Um, what will I be doing? <laughs> I will be. I will post them both because um, we had the anniversary stream yesterday, and um, this stream will both go up on uh, f on the following Friday. So I will just leave.